I love everything about entertainment. I'm actually a producer of an entertainment show called Straight Up. So I've also hosted and reported for it as well. And I'm Crystal Hartshorn, and we've got the scoop on all the entertainment news here in Athens and around the world. Well, wedding bells were heard all around the world as Kate Middleton and Prince William finally tie the knot. There's nothing quite like Athens in the springtime, and one event is drawing people from around the world. There was a big game that just passed, something called the Super Bowl. I don't know, maybe you've heard of it? You're destined to run into some pretty interesting people. So this week in LOL, I encourage you to open up to these new friendships. Take a look. There you have it, guys. Great food, great drinks, and a great time. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the party here at Rancho Alegre. I know we did. Now, make sure you like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter to see all the special deals they have Monday through Friday. Hello again. I'm Crystal, and today we are at Aveda Institute Columbus, located on 1581 North High Street, and we have a special treat for you because we get to see a complete makeover. Now, I know I'm excited, and you should be too, so let's get started. 10 TV News HD. A vision to create the longest Buckeye necklace is finally complete. Today, Buckeyes for a Cure unveiled this 700-pound Block O that holds 16,000 Buckeyes. Money raised benefits the Stephanie Spielman Fund. There are still Buckeyes left to purchase. You can learn how to at 10 news. More details today about the major agreement between the city of Athens and Ohio University. Good afternoon, I'm Crystal Hartshorn. And tonight, the Ohio softball team hits the road to play a doubleheader at Wright State. The Lady Bobcats definitely brought it to the court this past weekend, and teamwork was what really helped them pull the win. It looks like it is going to get better for the next couple of days. Right now, it is mostly cloudy. The sun is trying to peek out. A better day than yesterday, for sure. The differences in this year's election will not just be policy and names on the ballot, but in how the campaign itself is conducted. Yes, that's right. The event sponsored by the Student National Medical Association chapter at the College of Medicine gave OU students and staff a real taste of other cultures in a very personal way. Ethnic food, traditional costumes, and cultural performances was what the guests at this year's multicultural extravaganza experienced firsthand. It's an event to represent all of the cultures um, here at OUCOM and OU on campus, and it's just a um, very fun, energetic event. Um, we create this kind of diverse atmosphere so people can see all of the cultures that's represented here. Several countries were represented at the event to showcase the variety of students that make up Ohio University. The college has historically been very inclusive and has celebrated the diversity of the country. And uh, we admit uh, students from all different backgrounds, and we decided there's got to be a way to celebrate the uniqueness that each of them bring. You know, to support our students, especially from different cultures, um, and just to kind of broaden everyone's horizons with different foods they might want to try from different countries, or, um, you know, just help spread diversity. In the College of Medicine alone, 24% of the students are minorities. Diversity might not be well known here at Ohio University, but events like the Multicultural Extravaganza helps promote and see how many countries make up the university. Ready, guys? <laughs> place of education, but a lot of education happens outside of the classroom, and this is really one of those opportunities. Different cultures bring unique values and unique perspectives and beautiful costumes and different tasting foods, and uh, let's learn from each other. This is the 20th year of the multicultural extravaganza. Hey Columbus, I'm Crystal Harshorn, one of your CW Star finalists, and I'm here in Nelsonville, Ohio. And if you're looking for something out of the ordinary, I have the thing just for you. The Hawking Valley Scenic Railway takes you on a journey back in time. A fun-filled day any age group would enjoy. The Hawking Valley Scenic Railway runs through the Hawking Hills, and this is a gorgeous time of the year to be down here. We're actually in the train right now, and we have the tickets, and here's the conductor that takes them. 
about an hour south from Columbus, escape the city life, and spend the day with Mother Nature. As you see the trees changing colors. Oh my gosh, it's like breathtaking. A lot of people come down for the scenery, for the old time atmosphere, the family activities, and just something different in the Hocking Hills. So we are here at Robbins Crossing right now, and it's going to be so cool because we get to take a look back into the past. Classes in session. Ooh, ow. See you next time. Oh! Alright, so we are in the engine room of the train, and right here beside me is the driver, and he is in control of the whole train. Check it out. Behind you is a big diesel engine that spins a generator, it makes electricity to run the uh, traction motors down underneath. 